when I was in secondary school, or to be more precise, when I was in the ninth standard, I bought my first uh, mobile phone when I had gone on a vacation to Europe. Uh, and I eventually lost my mobile phone, uh, you know, in the garden when uh, I came, after I came back to India. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I just want you all to know whether what I spoke just now uh, was British English or American English. I hope you guys get the answer right. And if you all are not sure, then please continue watching this video to clear your doubts. So today I'm going to talk about the difference in vocabulary between British English and American English, which is one of the most important uh, factors or uh, factors of uh, differentiation between British English and American English. So let's get started. The first word is lift. Now, if you uh, say lift in British English, you say elevator in American English. So yeah, I wanted to go in a lift, but since it was taking a lot of time, I ended up taking the stairs. So you just have to replace the uh, word lift in order uh, with elevator if you are talking in the American English context. The second word is garden. Okay, if garden is very, very popularly used in India, so it's no wonder that it's British English and yard is uh, the American English counterpart. Uh, the third word is anti-clockwise. We often use this word to refer to something, uh, you know, while we are playing a game, like when we are referring to an order, we say it's clockwise or anti-clockwise that we are going. Uh, if we use anti-clockwise in British English, we use the words counterclockwise in American English. The fourth word is medicine. Now again, we use this word very, very popularly uh, as opposed to the word drug, you know, which is used more in the US. So that's the fourth word. The fifth word is vacation. I would love to go on a vacation to Paris. I would love to go skiing uh, in a snowy region once in my life. So that's vacation and you use the word holiday uh, in American English. Now, uh, we use this word, these words interchangeably without understanding that vacation is uh, an, a British English word, whereas holiday is an American English word. The next word is cue. Uh, when we were young, we were often taught in our English class uh, that we should not uh, jump the queue or, you know, we should always stand in a queue. Uh, when you know wherever we go without you know trying to cheat or like you know just just jump uh, Jumping the queue if you use the word queue in British English you use the word line in American English Okay, the next word now is Standard we often ask little kids. Okay. Oh, which standard do you study in if we ask if you use the word standard in British English? The Americans use the word grade which grade do you study in? Uh, the next word is sweet. Uh, I would love to have something sweet. Are you going to a sweet store? Whereas in the US people refer to uh, a, a sweet shop as a candy shop. Are you in need of some candies? Do you, are you craving some candies? So yeah, you use the word candy instead of sweets. Yeah, now mobile phone. I used, if you all have seen the video from the beginning, you all would be knowing that I uh, spoke uh, about something with reference to my mobile phone. So this word is used in British English whereas cell phone is the American English counterpart of mobile phone. Then we have secondary school. Again, if we use the word secondary school uh, to refer to, uh, uh, to to refer to some of the standards, you know, the, the higher standards, we use the term high school to refer to the same in American English. And the last word is this, flat. I live in a two-bedroom hall kitchen flat. Whereas in the US, people refer to flats as apartments. I live in a four-bedroom hall kitchen apartment. Uh, so yeah, it's just the exact, uh, you just replace the word flat with apartment. So those were some of the most major differences in vocabulary between British English and American English. I hope you all have got a sense of how uh, the vocabulary is not all that similar, you know, as much as, as we think it is. So that was about it. Now it's time for uh, the today's word, which is tumultuous. What does this mean? It means 
something that's intense or you know excited or confused uh, they were in a tumultuous relationship together it means that they were in a relationship that was so so passionate excited um, confused it was very very intense so you can use it with uh, in a positive context a context as well as in a negative context so yeah i hope you got, uh, guys got the meaning of this word correct and uh, yeah that was it uh, for today uh, i am certain that i'm going to come back with my next video very very soon i was tied up with a lot of things all this while and i promise you that i'm going to be back very very soon in fact next week itself so thank you guys for watching this video i shall see you guys very soon and do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you guys have enjoyed watching this video bye